Yo there guys, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I am going to be going over a few tips to help you actually improve at Fortnite. This is not going to be one of those videos where the guy just says, oh you need to learn to build faster and edit faster and have better aiming. This is going to be one of those videos where I talk about the things you already know for the most of you and then you just improve on that one skill to actually become a pro Fortnite player. So you just keep improving and improving and improving on that one skill until you've mastered it and you can move on to the next one. And at the end, you should be better than you were. So let's get into this. So for this first tip, it might sound a bit weird for you guys um, who haven't experienced this, but take breaks and don't rage because raging is literally going to get you nowhere for improving. You are not going to improve if you're there calling the guy a hacker because he shot you through a wall or edited a window behind you and managed to hit you in the head with a pump. He's not a hacker really, is he? You, you know that. Uh, you're just raging. It's not going to get you anywhere if you just complain about how somebody killed you. Like 99.9% .9 of the time that you die, it's fair and square. Like it's very rare that you come across hackers. I know there's videos on the internet of people coming across hackers, but it happens very rarely. Just like search them up and see how many come up. There's, there's not that many. Um, but yeah, just take regular breaks if you're starting to get like annoyed. Because most of us Fortnite players who have played for a long time, we've all been in the place where you want to put your foot through the TV, snap your headset and call it a day. But just, just calm down, you died in Fortnite, big deal. Just go into the next game, it's free. You can go into the next game without any hassle at all. Just go into the next game and try your best to win it. So we've all played Fortnite if you're watching this video, hopefully. Um, so we've all, you, all, you all know what creative is. Just hop in creative for a few hours if you've got that amount of time on your hands. If you're not doing anything, just hop in creative. Practice some free builds, watch some high ground retakes. I've got some high ground retakes on my channel. Just here you can see me doing one in the video now just go into creative practice some free builds and high ground retakes and 1v1 your friends and just try and improve and just see what you did wrong because you can always respawn in creative that's one thing in normal games you can't respawn so you're under more pressure also you can try out doing edit courses which are really good for learning to edit uh, I did say at the start of this video that this wasn't going to be about like editing and learning to build faster and aim faster but actually try to edit courses because they're actually really good for like coordination with like your console controller thumbs and they'll get you used to going to a game so normally do these before a game or if you're struggling with editing just hop into one of these and you should be good after you've done so this next tip is going to be one that you can all relate to because we've all watched a fortnite stream before and if you if you've watched this video then you, you've definitely seen a fortnite stream before so what i recommend is going to watch people on Twitch or YouTube, pro players who are better than you, so you can watch them and see how they play, and then try and play like them, just try and do what they do in games, almost like copying them pretty much, but obviously your game's not going to plan out as well as they do, theirs do, if they win, because you're not going to find that bot that was in retail or mega mall just a minute ago, because you're in two different games. But yeah, just watch some famous pro players like Tifu, Ninja, 72 Hours, Mongrel, he's really good, he's actually insane. So this next one is going to be play arena or scrims. So you can get discord scrims on discord where a bot counts down and you're already up. Or they might have a different now, they might have codes that you can put in for like custom matchmaking. But arena is also good. But then again, Arena has changed over the few weeks because it's just like literal W key now. Everyone rushes you. But they are pro players in there, some of them. Uh, odd few people are spammers who don't really know what's going on. They just think they're really good because they're in a game that's called Arena. And they think they're insane as soon as they get in there. But some players are actually good in there that you can fight against and see how they play if you die. Just spectate them. That's what I used to do. I used to spectate the player who killed me and see if he was actually any good. Most of the time, he's actually probably better than you, to be honest, if he killed you. Um, but yeah, this one will lead on to my next one. So, as I mentioned, spectating. What you're going to do is, you're going to go into a game. If you die, go into replay mode and watch back what you did wrong. And see what you can improve on as well. Because this is really good. I used to do this, like, pretty much every game for, like, two weeks. And I was realising what I was doing wrong. It was like I was missing out a wall and one by one or something. Or... I was I was over peaking and I wasn't really paying attention to my surroundings and people who were around me and I wasn't looking about and scanning the area but this can be really good for improving so in the next game you don't make the same mistakes so this last tip is going to wrap it up 
Um, this last tip is go for risky plays. Now that might sound super dumb for improving, but if you go for risky plays, you're under pressure. And if you're under pressure, you're gonna, you're obviously gonna be sweating and nervous. But say if you're on low health and you want to rush a guy, you don't know how much health is on. So you just come out of a fight, you're on like 50 health, let's say, and you see a guy, just rush him. Just that's you're gonna improve if you manage to kill him. If you manage to kill him, then you've done a good job. Because, well, depends if he's a bot or not. But if he's actually a decent player and he puts up a good fight, and you manage to kill him on the amount of health that you're on, then that's good because. You've killed him on the amount of health that you're on, and you're better than him. So that's you're going to improve that way if you rush somebody and go for risky plays on low health. If you have hardly any mats or any ammo, just go for the risky plays and try and improve. And then again, just go back in replay mode and watch back what you did wrong if you die. So it's as easy as that. So if this video did help you out in any way, then. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel. I've just hit 200 subscribers, thanks a lot for that, guys. Um, my next milestone is 300, then, I guess. So, let's try to get me to 300 subscribers. Um, I'm looking forward to that. I think about a year ago I hit 100. Uh, I was happy about that, but now I've hit 200 from Sam's live streams. So, thanks for that, guys. But yeah, if this video did help you out, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Share with your friends, show them what they need to improve on, and then when you've improved, you can literally be destroying them in 1v1s and winning all the games. So, thank you for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. So.